Hey guys, it's Vix here, and welcome to Tech It Tutorials number two. Uh, the first one we got a really good response. I think we hit like 70 likes, 8,000 views. A lot of people said that I'm great at telling them what to do in Tech It, and uh, I got really positive feedback. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I have spawned in a jetpack, and I look so freaking awesome with it. Yes, I do, and I just hurt myself because I don't have any rubber boots. But anyway, for today's uh, tutorial, I want to teach you about water distribution because I basically learned on how to distribute water in Tech It basically by myself, basically by trial and error. Because because it was a, such a pain in the ass. Now let me explain the problem. Now, when you make one or more combustion engines for whatever purpose, you might be making a power plant like I have, or you might just be using it to power uh, quarries. So when you make a combustion engine, the problem is uh, you need to cool it, right? And you cool it via, via, <laughs> I can't believe I said via, via water, right? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? So you cool it by water and uh, the problem with water is it doesn't distribute equally in TechIt. For some reason, there's like a little bit of a glitch in TechIt where uh, water will only distribute to the first engine. It will give it like three quarters of the water and the rest of the engines will get like a quarter divided by eight or how many engines you've got left. So I have eight engines underneath Wakas' house. This is the white marble house I'm talking about. If you haven't watched my TechIt series, be sure to check that out if you are fans of TechIt. Now let's go down here, right? So this is my power plant or well, the power plant underneath Wakas' house. Now the reason the engines, these engines are turned off because I will tell you in a second but first of all we need to give you a scenario right so when I first started with these eight engines what I did was that there were no other water supplies over here for before but when I first started what I did was I made one tank right this this big ass tower of tanks filled with water that's all I made right and I distributed uh, eight uh, I distributed that water between eight of the tanks now the problem that happened was this tank it was good uh, I mean it kept refilling because there's only one tank but it wasn't distributing water to all the engines, right? So the first one was getting tons, second one was getting tons, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, they weren't getting a lot of water. Therefore, I came up with a strategy on how to fix this. And what I did was I made more uh, tanks of water. Now, there is another problem we have though. Uh, water is not pumping fast enough uh, to actually refill these tanks. So I've turned most of the engines off right now, uh, basically waiting for all these tanks to fill back up. Then I'll turn them back on. Uh, for some reason, it's like it's, it sometimes glitches up. You might have to destroy the pipe and replace it for the water to actually come back in. I don't know why it's doing that. Is this still using water? Oh, that hurt. Damn it. Are you kidding me? All right. Let me check. Is that no? That's filled. That's filled. So uh, this will probably start using water in a bit. So it'll start filling up with water. Uh, that's why I've turned these engines off right now because water um, water ran out from that tank. So be sure to be wary on uh, what engines are working. You just have to basically make a lot of water, and uh, you can either do it by two ways: make a lot of tanks and wait for water to fill them up, or make a lot of pumps and uh, make it pump the water into these tanks. Now there's also a second thing that I want you guys to do, which is make iron pipes. Now these these things right here, these are iron pipes, right? Uh, you basically make them like any other normal uh, waterproof pipe. You make uh, two iron with glass in the center that'll make the iron pipe. You just waterproof it with cactus green. Pretty simple stuff, right? And uh, then you make an iron pipe. The reason these are really good is because water will only travel one way with them. And uh, that's why I think they are amazing, especially when you're trying to uh, distribute water equally. So. Now, water's coming through here, right? Basics, basic, basic, basic. Now this, this is amazing because water from like other ends of the pipe will not like back up and waste time and just going back to the tank. That's what I don't want to happen. So these will, this will block off the water. This this bit right here, water will not go this direction. Uh, it will only go forward and uh, through there. And uh, basically I've done it the same over here. Water will only go that way and not back uh, that way and not back. So that's what I've done over there. Uh, is water still filling in that? I don't know why it's not filling, but I'll fix that later. So that's basically my uh, little strategy of how to use these combustion engines effectively. I hope you guys learned something new. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Vix. Feel free to check out my ticket series. And tomorrow we are playing Borderlands 2. Fucking can't wait for that shit.